Now, if you've looked at any Diablo group anywhere on the internet, Facebook, Reddit, or God forbid, the comments section on YouTube, you might think that literally everybody hates Diablo 4. They all think this game's gonna be garbage. Now, is that actually true? Now, first off, just a quick history to really understand how people kind of got to this place where there's these type of comments in these different type of groups, and more specifically, the one that I see all the time, being a Diablo 2 content creator in the comment section of YouTube videos. Now, back in the day, obviously we were kids or maybe we we're in our teenagers, still kids, I suppose. we got Diablo 1 and Diablo 2. Now, those games were definitely dark, slaughtering monsters, blood, gore, and don't remember, we were children back then. So that stuff seemed way, way cool. Now, back myself, the year 2000, I was like 14 years old, so Blood and Guts and Gore were definitely right up my alley. That's right around when Diablo 2 came out. I played the game off and on for years and years and years and was absolutely stoked when I heard, oh my goodness, they're making another game just like this, Diablo 3. It was the first ever game I pre-ordered, waited and waited and waited for the game to arrive. The day it finally did, I was so excited until I popped the game in and these servers didn't work for literally days. Come to find out, I didn't really look into it, there was no offline mode like there was in Diablo 1 and 2. So with the servers down, I paid good money at the time for me, seemed like a lot of money anyways, in order to get a game that I actually couldn't play because this was the very beginning of games where you had to be online. Finally, after days and days and days, Blizzard was able to get the servers up and running. After I get into the game, come to find out, it looks like a rainbow threw up all over the screen. Instead of the dark and gritty type of game style that I was nostalgic for from when I was a child, instead, now that I'm like in my 20s, I get a game that has unicorns in it. A game that has a butterfly killing a beloved character from my childhood. So obviously for the Diablo 2 community anyway, speaking from my own experience at least, Diablo 3 was a mega letdown. I've heard after Reaper of Souls, the game really got a lot better, but it's hard to give a game another chance after it let you down so severely. And now next up in the Diablo franchise is a game called Diablo Immortal. Now, while I did play it for like a week, an absolutely free game you could play on your cell phone, or you could download it and play it on your PC for, like I said, absolutely free. I didn't think gameplay was really that bad, but obviously we know the monetization structure on that game and we don't really need to comment any further on that, right? But it isn't exactly the game that every Diablo 2 player was exactly hoping would come next. But luckily for us Diablo 2 players anyways, not long after that came Diablo, Diablo 2 Resurrected. Resurrected. And this game was almost everything we had hoped we would get from Diablo 3 essentially, except for it's just the exact same levels, just made better. On top of that, with the new season stuff, they've been adding in new rune words. They've been changing class balances and things like that. So for us Diablo 2 players, Diablo 2 Resurrected is an absolute godsend. And if I had to guess what a lot of Diablo 2 players were hoping is maybe we get something along the lines of what they did with Final Fantasy X. They came up with a Final Fantasy X 2. And this sounds like, and I'm kind of speculating here from my own experience, reading the comment sections, on my Diablo 2 channel, this is what people were hoping for. Diablo 2, the sequel. Now the odds of this happening, in my perspective, are very, very small. So I gotta go ahead and keep moving on with reality the way it is in front of me. Now I pretty much only make Diablo 2 videos on this channel. I am gonna be transferring over to Diablo 4 because I think the game looks pretty good. But what kind of person would you say, and I'm kind of stereotyping here, would be watching videos on my channel? This would be people roughly around my age, mid 30s they grew up playing diablo 1 and 2 and obviously they didn't like diablo 3 or they wouldn't be watching videos on a diablo 2 channel and i'm guessing they didn't transfer over to diablo immortal now there has been thousands maybe tens of thousands of games that have came out since diablo 2 but these people are still playing diablo 2 and i'm in that group we absolutely do love the game and i can all once again speak from my own experience another reason why i'm playing diablo 2 I am incredibly cheap. Now I did play the Call of Duties, Fallout games, Elder Scrolls, Grand Theft Auto games, a ton of different games. But when I didn't want to pay another for another game, when I didn't want to pay a monthly subscription fee, what I do? Come back to Diablo 2 again. Old, trusted, tried and true, you know you're going to like it, and you still have those nostalgic feelings from when you were a kid, almost feeling like you were getting away with something when you're going out and slaying Andario, ripping down monsters, blood and gore everywhere. 
So with the checklist of who I kind of stereotype as, you know, my viewer, they're probably guys roughly like me, go down the checklist, mid thirties, a little bit on the frugal side, you gotta pay your mortgage, electric bill, you gotta pay for dance classes, et cetera, et cetera. Don't have a ton of time to learn entire new mechanics in game because you have so many other responsibilities in life. And obviously you're mega nostalgic for the games that you grew up and absolutely loved. Now with that backstory, we're gonna dive in and does everyone actually hate D4? Now taking into consideration the entire backstory, kind of who I would stereotype as my generic viewer, I would almost view Diablo 2 players or Diablo 2 kind of super fans, somebody who would watch a strictly Diablo 2 channel as being the people that would be probably most likely not to like Diablo 4 and most likely probably not to give it a chance after D3 and Diablo Mortal and etc etc. Now with that checklist of who would generally be watching my channel, I went ahead and polled my viewers to see what their opinion on the game was right after the first beta. And the answers to this poll actually might surprise you. Now, when you look at the poll, actually for one and two, that would be absolutely terrible and bad, obviously, 10% a piece. So that's only a total of 20% to think the game is going to be not good. When you move up to number three, that's okay. That could be people that range from cautiously optimistic to, you know, kind of on the lower end of okay, I guess not that great. That's still a full 32%. But if you jump up above that, you're at number four. That's people who think the game is pretty good. That's 34%. That's the largest group of people. And then actually jumping up to number five, the game is absolutely spectacular. That's 15%. So the people that think it's absolutely spectacular is actually much larger than either of the two lower group. Now that's right after the first beta. But actually, I played a little bit of a dastardly trick on my viewers. <laughs> Ah. Well, not that dastardly. I actually asked them the exact same poll about a month later after the next beta to see if anyone's views had changed. They did slightly, but the poll numbers don't exactly reflect the idea that everybody hates Diablo 4. Because actually the number shifted to people liking the game even more after the server slam beta. So I reversed the numbers and I worded it just slightly different, hopefully enough that you'd get the same exact answers essentially, but one and two got almost the exact same percentages as they did in the last poll, 10 and 11 here. Now, the number three only got 29% when that was 34% before. Interestingly enough, the number four got 32% exactly the same as before, but most of those people that were thought the game was okay, it's kind of slid up to 18% for number five, the absolute best. So if you actually look at it, the people that think it's terrible or not great, is almost the exact same number as the number of people that think the game is absolutely amazing. Now what people say there is all good and well, but are people actually gonna spend their hard earned money on purchasing this game? Well, I went ahead and asked them that as well. Now almost 50% of my viewers that answered this poll had already pre-purchased the game. We've got like roughly 10% is 9% here say they're gonna buy it when it's released. Waiting to see reviews before they decide fully. We got 16% waiting for it to go on sale. We got 15%. And only 14% say there's absolutely no way that they're going to touch this game. Now, the very interesting thing to me is, like I said, I run a strictly Diablo 2 channel up until this point. So realistically, for the Diablo community, these are probably the people that are least likely to like and play and purchase the game. But as you can see from these poll numbers, actually a large plurality actually really do like the game and they are planning to play it. So even though you do see a ton of comments like this, like that down in the comment sections of different youtube videos and things like that just remember people who are incredibly outraged are drastically more likely to comment they're more likely to hit the like button on that comment and things like that than people who are happy we've kind of learned this i'm not going to go into full detail about every little bit of it but from the last few presidential elections here in the united states you always hear and see from the most outrage group of people and i do want to specify no one's opinions necessarily wrong but it's just important to come to your own conclusion come to your own decision if you don't like diablo 4 don't want to play it don't play it if you're a diablo 2 fan you want to keep playing that forever do that these are video games and they're supposed to be fun fellas but don't always let someone else's opinion sway your opinion on whether you're going to enjoy something or not so hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe up and hit the like button it helps you on the youtube algorithm fellas Make sure you check out this other video right over here. But before you go, don't forget, keep slaying.